Good morning. Let's see who jumps in. Brian of London here in my forest in Tel Aviv, Israel. The Zionist Brian of London, because that's what you have to be if you move to Israel. And uh, this, I got a lot of complicated ideas I want to try and get across here. If I can't do this in a live periscope, I guess I'll have to write this stuff down and do it with a script. But uh, a few things came together in my feeds and articles I saw. Um, stuff like, for example, a Jewish Chronicle article that's like currently top of the Jewish Chronicle in the UK's website and it's it's yet another boring attack piece on Tommy Robinson but within it it contains the evidence that refutes its own premise the the premise of the article is that there are comments on so-called far-right websites uh, like Breitbart started by a Jew <laughs> and and Ezra Levant Jew rebel site there are comments on those sites that are far-right oh dear Everything's about to get noisy. And the whole problem with the, 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 the premise of the article is that at the bottom of the article as well, they include anti-Tommy Robinson comments because he is a Zionist, because he visited Israel, because he's never had a bad word to say about Jews or Israel, because he's never bought into the whole far right, the real far right. And I'm gonna define the terms in a second far-right notions of Zionists and Zionists controlling the media and the do real dog whistles like Zionist occupied government. He's never bought into any of that. So it's a bullshit charge when you put it on him. Uh, okay, what do I mean by the far-right? Because I actually know who they are and what they say. I mean people who are infused with the protocols of the elders of Zion, who believe that Zionism is a wide, worldwide movement to take over the world and turn it all into a multicultural soup where white people are, are replaced with uh, a kind of no skin brown people. What they're actually describing is not Zionism. What they're describing to a certain extent seems to be what the far left and what, we, what I would call globalists are actually pushing. The idea, this, this unbelievably optimistic view of human nature which is what communism and marxism and socialism are all founded on this idea that if you remove boundaries if you remove borders if you stop people having a racial identity or even cultural identity that they'll all become enlightened non-religious and uh, they will all extend towards a world where there is peace that's the globalist dream in fact every time it's been tried it turns into an absolute nightmare um, it turns into wars of epic proportions now a kind of far-right version is to take that and then say because there are some Jews in that movement and there damn well are some uh, Jews who believe in globalism uh, and a lot of them, and I, and I think globalist is an intellectual movement and therefore Jews are overrepresented possibly in its uh, leadership and at the top I'm going to put George Soros but what I'll go on to then say is he's not a Jew and there are no Jewish principles in globalism. Today the highest expression of Jewish principles is where I'm sitting today which is Israel. That is the Zionist project. The Zionist project was to establish the state that I am now sitting in. We did it. Now, the far right will then counter with all sorts of stuff about a greater Israel and taking over the whole of the Middle East and in the world. Well, we're just not demonstrating. People like Bibi Netanyahu are not demonstrating. They're not even demonstrating a desire to take over Gaza again or the West Bank, what, what you guys outside call the West Bank, what we call Judea Samaria. We're not, we're not even sure whether we should retake those two places. You think we're going to go get Oman or Syria? Rubbish. Total nonsense. The necessity of the far left today is that they must try 
and discredit anybody who is in a centrist position, I would say, a populist position, and I would even say a nationalist position. And the reason why Israel and Zionism are the antithesis of globalism is because Israel and Israel is a Jewish nationalism in our land, our historical homeland. And by re-establishing a state, this is the absolute thing the globalists hate the most. The EU was a globalist project to remove states from Europe, to kill the borders, to destroy the borders, to destroy national identities within Europe, to, to make the French and the Germans and the Austrians and the Spanish and the Italians all slowly coalesce towards the same thing. That is not anything I recognize as a good goal. I don't think it would bring peace. I don't think, I think it's absolutely, utterly ridiculous to say that the so-called peace that's existed in Europe, despite, let's say, the Yugoslavian wars um, and, and all sorts of other conflicts, despite the peace that's existed since the end of the Second World War, it wasn't caused by the EU you know, agreeing how many feathers you should put in a pillow. That does not stop wars. No, there is a place, and it is obviously a, a pretty deep human desire because the most successful civilizations on earth have sprung up out of national identity. The Jewish national identity, the British, the English, the Scottish, the Welsh, those national identities, that was the heart of the Industrial Revolution. The greatest sequence, that kicked off the greatest sequence of advances in living conditions for humanity that's ever happened. A, an unbelievable confluence of events. That was not gonna happen in a soup of no borders, no nations. Everybody working in a collectivist, communist, ideal way. This is nonsense. America. Yeah, America is, America is a fantastic conglomeration. It, it's an idea where you can, re, you can have this overall national identity, but then you've got these states with their strong identities. You've got a whole load of interlap, overlapping identities, but because your value system underneath it, that's a good value system. There's no need to remove borders. You don't, you haven't even removed states' borders. America's got borders between all your states. You haven't even agreed all the laws that are applicable to just America, where you have pretty much a common language, certainly a common currency. There's no need to break it down further. Um, you know, do countries need to get bigger than America, say, bigger than Russia today, or, or landmass terms, it's Canada and China, but there's just, there's a balance when we get to something the size of a state, we can cope with this. The globalist dream of breaking those down led absolutely, Soros is one of the key players, but there are many others, some Jews, many non-Jews. Globalist is not a code word for Jew. And so when um, the guy from uh, Judicial Watch went on Fox Business, and he said the Zion, uh, he said the uh, uh, globalist occupied State Department. I bloody well agree. The State Department in the U.S. is occupied by. It, it, it's been massively co-opted by Marxist thinking, by globalist thinking, and thanks and. They are. I mean, we can see this in how they deal with Israel. They hate Israel in the State Department. They hate Trump moving the embassy. That was resisted by the State Department. To this, to, at this moment, if you have an American, um, uh, American citizens, if they have a child born in Jerusalem, the State Department is still resisting and will not let them put as the place of birth, Jerusalem, comma, Israel. This is the State Department. They're fighting that. The embassy is in Jerusalem, comma, Israel. But if you have an American baby born to American parents, happens to be born on land that's called Jerusalem, the State Department will not let you write Jerusalem, Israel on your passport. This is globalists, because globalists hate Israel. They hate the very concept that Jews came back and made a new nation state that is a good nation state. It is a strong nation state. They hate Israel nation states and we're the best and we're the best example of a nation state that's been created recently 
And that's why the globalists hate us. That's why Soros hates us. Soros is persona non grata in Israel. He doesn't come visit here. He funds only organizations that try to destroy Israel. They're also trying to destroy Europe with mass migration. They're trying to destroy America with mass migration. Now, if they put titles like the Hebrew Immigration Service in the title, this is a vile and sneaky act. Same thing that George Soros did, uh, his organizations did with Pittsburgh. They, they invented, they had some group of so-called Jewish leaders who put out a, a, a nonsense press release that said that Trump wasn't welcome. These were not Jewish leaders. They were paid for activists on the ultra far left who hate Israel, hate their own Jewish identity, I dare say. And they put out this press release saying Trump not welcome. Of course he was welcome. I mean, you, the president is supposed to show up when, when, when a crime that vile happens, the president is gonna come. And thankfully the rabbi of the synagogue welcomed him and, and, and he didn't just visit the, the synagogue as well, he went to the hospital where the, the, the mostly law enforcement are recovering. Fantastic guy. His interactions, his, his instincts are all right. And he is absolutely hated by globalists. I will keep saying that. I hate globalists, I hate globalism. It is the path to destruction of the world. It is the opposite of the foundations of Western civilization, of the, the, the temperamental rules that Christianity and Judaism impart to people that, that gave us the advances that the West has made over the last two, three hundred years, the greatest steps forward in civilization that we've ever seen. And, and all of that, all of that is, a, is fought to bring that down, to bring that back, to destroy what we have achieved and will achieve and can achieve if we follow a kind of globalist mentality. And um, don't be a globalist. Wake up, everybody. I am Brian of London. I'm in the park. I just want to say a big thank you to anybody who jumped on Patreon last month. Um, that was really, really appreciated. It's definitely, it's come close to replacing what I was getting from YouTube when they demonetized me. So it's, it, it's, it's very, I'm glad people value this. You value this content. You value anyone's content. You like what Tommy's doing in, oh, just a quick thing on Tommy. Some arsehole in Australia is calling Tommy an anti-Semite doesn't know anything about Tommy Robinson. In fact, in his letter to the Australian government, the sh this, this Shlemiel, this idiot in the Australian government, he writes a letter about Tommy Robinson, but he puts the name Tony Robinson. Tony Robinson's an actor who played Baldrick in the Blackadder series. So he writes an official letter on official letter-headed paper, 100% recycled because he's from the Greens. He writes this official letter. He gets the bloody name wrong. What a Shlemiel. And then he's saying that Tommy Robinson has made anti-Semitic statements. I actually know, this is a secret between you and me, I know of one anti-Semitic statement that Tommy made in private, okay? Because me and a friend told him to make it. And he, we, we told him to say an, a very anti-Semitic word. He didn't even know what that word was till we told him to say it. It's like one of the basest, most, it, it's one of the, the, the swear, the, the, the it's the N-word for Jews. Tommy actually literally didn't know this word. Uh, and and we, we were just playing a joke on someone. Tommy hasn't got an anti-Semitic bone in his body. He doesn't know how to express anti-Semitism. He absolutely knows that globalism is something to be fought because it's helping the Islam, it's helping Islam into Europe and destroying Europe. He absolutely knows that. But he knows that globalism does not represent Judaism. He's seen real Judaism. He's seen real Zionism because he came here and stood on the border with Gaza and looked at the Hamas guys and they looked back at us with their binoculars and their AKs. Tommy knows exactly what Zionism is. He knows what globalism is. He knows far better than you in the Jewish Chronicle writing your stupid hit pieces and far better than you politician in Australia trying to keep him out. Anyway, I hope you fail. Uh, I hope Tommy goes on a great tour and um, once again, back to the thanks everyone for the support. Thank you for watching and see you the next time.